and he kept his mind and senses under control. Furthermore, he was always truthful. He knew how to chant the Vedic mantras, and he was also very pure. Ajamil was very respectful to his spiritual master. Indeed, he was free from false prestige. He was upright, benevolent to all living entities, and well behaved. He would never speak nonsense or envy anyone. Once, this Brahmana Ajamil, following the order of his father, went to the forest to collect wood for a sacrificial fire. Now, what else have you brought me? All 
me some news. Yes? My father's dead. So what? He left me an inheritance. Oh. This is news. Yes. It'll all be spent for your pleasure. Oh, you're so flattering. Don't be flattered. Just be pleased with me. In time, Ajamil became addicted to forbidden acts in order to satisfy the prostitute's lusty desires and to maintain their many children. He had eight children with her, and because of past good impressions, he named his youngest and favorite Narayan. Gambling and cheating, he thus allowed his life to speed by until his 88th year. Come on, big friend. Sit down here. Thank you, Ashmael. There you go. So, you want to bet? Play some dice? Good luck you today? Yes, I do. I'll play with you. Good. How much money would you like to bet this time? Oh, so much. That's good. Seven. I win. Yeah. Hey. Should I win? Hey, wait a minute. Seven. I win again. Uh, wait on my side. Wait a minute. Hey, I tell you what. Let's double our bets, all right? What? Double? No. No. Seven. <laughs> wait a minute. I think you're cheating me. Yeah. You what? You dare call me a cheat? I'll show you I don't need to cheat you to get your money. Cheating isn't necessary. I'd like you to meet some of my sons. I'm going to take all your money away. Buy a horse. Take his wife. Not a 
of the Vedas is irreligion. This we have heard from our Lord Yama. servants of Yamaraj were baffled and defeated by the Vishnu Dudas. They fled to their master in a bewildered state. Being filled with anger and disappointment, they addressed their lord and master, the lord of death. Oh my 
sinful Ozmo uttered the name Narati. Four beautiful men appeared and cut the rope which we were going to drag the sinner to hell. Please describe who they are. My dear servants, you have accepted me as the Supreme. But actually, I am not. Above me and above all other demigods is the one Supreme Controller, Lord Orion. The Supreme Personality of Godhead has his form, his qualities, and his features. And in the same way, his order carriers have form and characteristics similar to his. These order carriers protect the Vaishnavas from enemies, from envious persons, and even from my jurisdiction. The greatly sinful Ajmil chanted only to call his son. But because he chanted the holy name of the Lord, he was immediately saved from the ropes of death. How glorious, how powerful is this Nam Sankirtan? Generally, one who is always chanting never commits sinful activities. But if by mistake, or because he is covered with illusion or bewilderment, he does commit sinful acts. Because of his chanting, he is protected from the sinful reaction. My dear servants, only bring to me those who fail to use their tongue in this chanting of the holy name, who fail to remember the Lord within their heart, and who fail to bow down even once before the Lord. Bring to me all such fools and rascals. But my dear servants, be warned. Despite what you have done in the past, if you again disturb the Vaishnavas, you will be crushed by the club of Lord Vishnu. What to speak of you, if I, or even Lord Brahma, attempted to punish them? We would be punished. My dear children, you have committed a great offense. And because I am your master, I am also responsible. Oh my Lord, oh Master, because of our ignorance, we failed to see Ajamil as your devotee, and thus we have committed a great offense. My dear Lord, we stand before you with folded hands. Please forgive us. You are very merciful and filled with all good qualities. We bow down at your lotus feet. After hearing from the mouth of their master about the extraordinary glories of the Lord and his holy name, the Yamadudas were struck with wonder. Since then, as soon as they see a devotee, they fear him and dare not look at him again. Because of a moment's association with the Vishnu Dudas, Ajamil gave up all material attachment and went to Hardwar. There he took shelter in a temple of Lord Vishnu and he began to execute the process of Bhakti Yoga. Ajamil controlled his senses and fully applied his mind to the service of the Lord. When his intelligence and mind were fixed upon the form of the Lord, the Brahmana Ajamil once again saw before him four celestial persons. He could understand 
that they were those he had seen previously. And thus he offered his obeisances by bowing down before them. Upon seeing the Vishnu Judas, Ajamil gave up his material body and regained his original spiritual body. Accompanied by the order carriers of Lord Vishnu, Ajamil boarded an airplane made of gold. Passing through the airways, he went directly to the boat of Lord Narayan, the husband of the goddess of fortune. Because this very confidential historical narration has the potency to vanquish all sinful reaction, one who hears or describes it with faith and devotion is no longer doomed to hellish life, regardless of his having a material body and regardless of how sinful he may have been after giving up his body, he returns back home, back to Godhead. Oh, by Sadhu Sangha. Where Sadhu? For 
Krishna Prabhu, where Shadu. And they initiated it by that one. That name. One name, even Namabhas has said, you, so you should try to do pure name. He wanted to speak something and to touch their feet. Uh, at once they but when we came to her bath and took bath in Ganges daily and doing bhajan sadhan Narayan 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 Om Bhagavati like that Narayan and after that some time oh full pure rain came at once he was liberated. He left his body. And at once, Fort Duke again came. And he, they told that he, now you are qualified to go to Vaikuntha. He told, I want some question to solve my question. You should give me. At first time, Hearing your dialogue, I wanted to touch your feet, but you disappear. And now you are coming to take it. Narayan Vaikunt. Oh, they told that. At that time you are not pure. Your body was not transcendental. Now you are all kinds of sin, or even unearth has come. Now you are terrified. Now you can come. And they took him. By one pure name, anyone can go to Narayana now. He went there. But it is not sufficient to go to Guru Vrindavan. No. You will have to start moving or any of the Prajabhashi. So much. And then very difficult to do this. Easy there, but one name is there, even not very easy there. So try to first follow Ajami. Don't do sins, but chant the name of God. More better you should follow Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and try to follow Goswami's Prabhnath Goswami. And very easily by chanting, doing kirtan, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. The four who told, uh, John told to his servant, don't go to a place where Hare Kirtan is going on. Don't touch a person who has taken neck beats and chanting. Don't. Those who have once did pr pranam to Thakuji, don't go there. When he is worshipping, don't go there. Those who are taken in bath in Ganges, Jamuna, and chanting, don't go in that area. Be hundred miles, thousand miles away from that place. So you should know. Those who are Serving Tulsi, don't go there. So you should have a very strong faith in these things. And follow this Siddhanta and do that. I may do one request to Sridham Prabhu that he should play the drama of Prahlad Maharaj. Though time is very short. But yet you can. On Sunday, you should play. Last day. Players, you should come. I will give sweets. First, I will give to them, then to any other. Anyone should not come before them. They should wait. All should wait. One announcement, um, Jagmohan Prabhu has asked me to uh, 
ask those who have not paid their festival fees to please approach either Govindadasi or himself to pay for the fees. You see that a John Mill it started out with something small, like not paying your festival fees, and it just, <laughs> just snowballed into what we see there. So we just have to be very, very cautious in our dealings. So um, make sure you pay your festival fees, or a few years down the line, you can find yourself in the same position as John Mill. This is not to scare you. This is just to tell you we know who you are. We can tell how the way you walk down the halls, the way you try to avoid those in charge of the festival the way you avoid eye contact, all of these things together, we can see that those people are not paying the festival fees. And um, we're not happy with that. <laughs> Same boat together. Well, if you're in the front, I'm in the back. <laughs> Behind you.